Hello guys, my name is Joseph Vasquez. Welcome to episode two. And today I want to speak to you guys with this message. The title of this message is, are you living or are you existing? And today I'm going to use my iPhone as an example of this. I am going to share five things that happens when you have a cellular device, either it's an iPhone, an Android, or whatever phone you have, or, or the Obama phone. My parents, <laughs> they have that. Anyways, moving right along here. Number one, for you, to, for me to use my iPhone, it obviously needs to be connected. It looks pretty, it feels pretty, but for me, it is only existing and not living it's just connected to a server which is print in this case jesus says i am the way the truth and the life no one goes to the father if it's not through me see jesus is like that sprint and we're like that iphone and in order to get connected we need to get through jesus so we can hear the father see it doesn't matter how many times i call my mother if her phone is disconnected, she cannot hear it. It's impossible. Some of you guys are wondering, why can't I hear God? Or why am I, am I not feeling God? Man, some of you guys have to start logging in again so you can see the messages that are in your inbox waiting for you. See, God is inviting you to get reconnected if you've been connected before and if you've never been connected to accept Jesus in your life so you can get connected so you can see the inboxes so you can see the dreams the plans the goals the spiritual gifts that your father has for you number two this phone has access to Wi-Fi which means that even though I am not connected because I am in a room where there's Wi-Fi I could temporarily be connected See, some of us are riding on other people's fire. We go to church, we hang out with people, but we're not necessarily connected, but because we're in an environment where something is happening, we have access to that. But what happens when you step out of that environment? What happens when my phone is no longer on Wi-Fi? It is just existing and not living. Number three, sometimes we put our phone on silence. Every day the Holy Spirit leads you. And when you disobey Him, you're putting your heart on silence. And when you obey Him, you're leaving it on sound. The more you obey Him, the more sensitive you become. The more you disobey Him, the more hardened your heart is. So God is speaking to you. People are trying to come into your life to speak to you in a community, but you're hardening your heart. You're putting it in silence. Point number four, our phone dies out. And I feel like spiritually this can happen to us. Sometimes the most annoying thing is when you leave your charger in your house. In Christianity, you don't leave Holy Spirit at home. He goes with you, before you, and He is for you. And whenever you feel like your battery is dying out, you say, God, just fill me up. God, just charge me. Number five, I think it's one of my favorites. Because something you could do with this iPhone is talk to people, is message people, is FaceTime people. And in our lives, people hit us up. We have the ability to see it or respond. And I, was, I remember I was playing basketball one morning and I felt like the Holy Spirit told me, be careful who you connect yourself with because not every outlet guarantees electricity. See, there's people that are draining you instead of connecting you to the Father. See, you might be asking, why do I feel drained? What outlet are you going to? After Jesus left, he said, I will send my messenger, the Holy Spirit, and he wants to charge you up. I hope today you were able to identify yourself with these five points that I mentioned. I just feel praying over people that have cancer. So right now, if you have cancer or you know anybody with cancer, I release healing. I declare miracle. The blood was enough. What God did at that cross, wasn't cheap my father actually had cancers years ago and god did a miracle in his life so i just released that same miracle right now in jesus name if this touched you moved you or made you laugh or did anything inside of you subscribe like it comment it and share and let it bless others god bless you and stay tuned for episode number three Here I'm